I'm Maria. I'm 32 years old right now. Um, like to let people see the little fun, exciting bits of my life that make me happy. This is Pete, this is my fiance, and this is Ozzy, a beautiful little soul of a stuffy puppy. I say he's a puppy, he's actually 10 years old now. We've been together a while and our story is even longer than that. I feel like it goes on for a very long time. He runs a pub in North London, Pete, not the dog. Um, and I kind of hang out here. I try to help him when I can. It's crazy, it's fun, it's really not easy. I thought it was time to let people into our lives a little bit to see the good, the bad, the crazy, everything. I'm excited to see what happens next. Just for these, maybe. Five minutes. There's no artifice. And I know some of this is going to get cut anyway, so there's not going to be like eight minutes of footage of me doing my makeup with a yawning dog. I know that's just, it's not all going to make it in, but I love the fact that maybe even <laughs> if 50 seconds of it is there, when you're still putting the face on, it's not like, you're not quite your constructed self yet. You're getting ready to hide, you're not quite hiding. And I think that's why I worked so hard to become a makeup artist, but I think I do hide sometimes. But I think this is a life where you have to. I think Pete does the same thing. I don't think he thinks he does, but I think he does. I think you can't not, you have to, when you do something where you face people every single day, you have to keep a little bit of yourself back. And I think maybe I'm the master of that of the two of us, but I think I admit it maybe a little bit more. Like, I have to say that there's a lot more to me than meets the eye because to meet the eye, I'm kind of, I mean, Pete's a mover and shaker. He's, he's an innovator. And I think to the outside eye, I'm maybe just an appendage to him, to what he does. And I think for someone who's done and seen and lived as much as me. 
if I was to let that be my image, I think that would be pretty heartbreaking, if I'm honest. The dog's farted. It's not the best. Right, let's go see what chaos awaits us in the fun house. Hmm? It's all on the floor, us and a dog. I <laughs> know we are, he's on the floor, us and a dog. Puppy. Why are you doing selfies? I'm not doing selfies, so I might be out, but you keep walking away. <laughs> That's a face. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> How long are you going to keep that face up? As long as it takes. Love you too. I don't understand what the fuck you're doing. So, Pete and I actually met during the pandemic um, online, if you would believe it. I completely fell in love with him right at the beginning, and we have been through so much since then. So, so much. He can drive me absolutely insane, but he has the biggest heart of anyone I know. What I can always say about him is that he works really, really hard. I think we can fault people on a lot of things. I think we can fault our partners on a lot of things. Um, I can't fault him on how hard he works. I have something like 15, 16 thousand followers on my Instagram. I'm just always switched on, always showing people the world that I live in. I'm basically a big bag of adult ADHD. Um, I think he sees behind that front that's like, hey, this is me. Um, and I think he gets me most of the time, as much as anybody can. And I love him so much for that. I think that yoga has always been a sanctuary for me because of the way that it rests my brain. It just helps me to slow everything down in my head a little bit. I'm 32, I'm sitting like a five-year-old. <laughs> love to my five-year-old self, yeah. I love this bit where I just get the camera I get to say what I want to say um I don't know what that is I'm on my yoga mat yoga is kind of my my little bit of an obsession I think it's my quiet place like I get on the mat I get upside down like everything's quiet for a minute when you're me, everything isn't quiet a lot. So, it's valuable, it's mindful. You just get to feel like who you are in your body, feel like I don't know, but for someone who dissociates a lot, th there's nothing else like it to me. That's enough chill time for now because things are happening. Um, Pete is organising this big, fun festival at the weekend that's going to be live music, 
we're gonna get together our regulars, our friends at the pub, hopefully some new people. We're gonna enjoy live music, food. It's gonna be a big weekend and we're really looking forward to it. It's gonna be so, so busy. Live music is kind of his passion. It's what makes him tick is what makes him so good at what he does and I love watching him do what he does best What can you see?